Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to show you my gluten-free grocery haul. We are a gluten-free family of five. I have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old who has celiac disease, and an 11-month-old son. And this is what we eat for about our groceries for about a week and a half. All right, let's start with the produce. So we have organic green beans, organic corn, sweet potatoes. I have two little petite potatoes, one is for a roast, and one is for chicken in the Instapot. Some oranges, and apples, bananas, and we have all this over here. The total was $143. So we have tomato paste, diced tomatoes. Again, make sure you are looking for gluten-free on it. That is a hidden source of gluten in most things. Same with ketchup. Make sure you're checking to make sure it says gluten-free on it. Condiments is a big one to be checking. Got some granola bars. We really like the Annie's. Lots of yogurt. I like the Chobani, less sugar. Make sure you're checking your sugar on your yogurt because there can be a ton of sugar in yogurt. So we like the Chobani because it's gluten free. And I like the less sugar option. And then we also get plain Stony Field again, gluten free. And the big container because cheese, my son, or not my son, my son can't have milk or soy, but my daughters can, and my husband enjoys this. We got some sweet potato chips, gluten free. My kids really like these as a chip option, and again, gluten free comes with caramel, cheddar, ranch, and apple cinnamon. It's kind of like rice cakes, little rice cakes, but they taste pretty good. Then over here we have this. My daughter has to take um, an iron supplement, a liquid iron supplement. So I got this to mix in with her iron supplement because again, iron's kind of difficult to take in itself. So then these are the dairy options, the milk we use. Uh, my son is dairy soy intolerant right now and I'm breastfeeding. So this is what I and he consume. And then my girls have this as well. We have ripple milk. I like to use this for sauces or cooking because it's got the added protein. For things like cereals, I like this for the flavor. And again, make sure you're checking that these are gluten free because they can have gluten in them. So make sure you're getting gluten free brands. The bread we like. And again, this is the only gluten free cheese I could find in my store, in my local store, and I shop at Kroger. So, of course, it was one of the most expensive, and I ended up getting two of them because we do things like grilled cheese, quesadillas, so I bought two. Then we have organic gluten-free chicken nuggets. My kids like these uh, for a quick lunch. And then we have all our meats. So, lunch meat, turkey, ham. Again, make sure you're checking to see that your lunch meat is gluten-free. We have some Italian sausage for a quick dinner. I just cut it up with some sweet potatoes and apples and put it in the oven. And meat can be a source of gluten, so make sure you are checking for gluten-free. Same with this, pork sausage. We're gonna make biscuits and gravy later in the week. And you have to make sure, gluten-free. Got a three pack of organic ground beef. Simple truth, friend, we try to do organic grass-fed beef when we can. Again, gluten-free. Same with bacon, make sure you are checking your bacon for gluten, because that can be a hidden source as well. So, got the thick cut and the apple wood. One lunch this week, we're gonna have BLTs and tomato soup. And then, a 
another dinner is uh, Califalo cheese bacon casserole. So again, make sure you're checking your labels. This was clearanced out today, so we're gonna eat this today for breakfast with some eggs. And again, make sure you're just checking the back. Gluten free. And we got some chicken thighs. I'm gonna do honey butter chicken with rice later in the week for dinner. And that is all of the groceries. And again, I said it was $143 for this. And this will only last us about a week and a half. And I still have another Walmart order I have to pick up in a couple days. And I'll insert the clip of that afterwards. But I want to give you guys an idea of what it costs to go gluten-free for a family of five. And we do make certain things, like we do organic when possible, which makes it more expensive. But I think that's an important choice, especially when you're dealing with someone who has celiac disease. You want to get the best nutrition you can in your body. So we do up the price a little doing choices like that but that is what we have for Kroger. It's a couple days later and this is my Walmart order. It was a hundred and twelve dollars. So we got some organic green onions, organic mini cucumbers, organic cauliflower, organic baby carrots, organic frozen vegetables. We were out of ice cream. My kids really like this, again, gluten-free. The main thing I get from Walmart is this coconut milk yogurt. My son is sensitive to dairy and soy, so he and I eat this, so I got two of these. And I usually just mix some honey in mine. Creamer, again, dairy-free, gluten-free. Then we got some snacks. Strawberry bars, chocolate peanut butter bar, layer bars, peanut butter crackers, cheese crackers, chocolate chips. These are dairy, soy, and gluten-free chocolate chips. Annie's mac and cheese, gluten-free. We were out of cereal, so big thing of Cheerios, big things of chocolate and peanut butter. And what I do is I mix the peanut butter and chocolate together so it kind of tastes like Reese's. And then random, but my dog needed flea and tick. So that alone was $40 right there. So that was the Walmart order, $112.